Did you know that if someone grew up in a household where food was used as a reward or comfort, they may be more likely to turn to food for emotional reasons later in life? Emotional eating can be triggered by a variety of factors, including stress, trauma, social pressures, and negative body image. The foods that people choose to eat when emotional eating can vary, but they are often high in sugar, fat, and calories, such as junk food, fast food, and desserts. How to stop emotional eating, 5 steps that actually work. Today we're going to talk about a topic that I know many of us struggle with, emotional eating. Whether it's reaching for a pint of ice cream after a stressful day or indulging in junk food after a breakup, emotional eating can be a tough habit to break. I'm going to share with you 5 steps that actually work to stop emotional eating for good. It is very important that you stay until the end so that it really works. Go grab a healthy snack, and let's get started. Step 1. Identify your triggers. The first step to overcoming emotional eating is to identify what triggers it. Are you more likely to indulge in junk food when you're stressed, anxious, or sad? By pinpointing what emotions or situations lead you to turn to food, you can start to become more aware of when you're most vulnerable to emotional eating. Step 2. Find alternative coping mechanisms. Once you've identified your triggers, the next step is to find alternative coping mechanisms that can help you deal with your emotions in a healthier way. Maybe it's going for a walk, practicing yoga, or calling a friend. Whatever it is, find something that makes you feel good and can distract you from the urge to eat. Step 3. Create a support system. Breaking any habit is easier when you have a support system. So, surround yourself with people who will encourage and motivate you on your journey to overcoming emotional eating. Whether it's a friend, family member, or support group, having someone to talk to when you're feeling tempted can make all the difference. Step 4. Practice mindful eating. Emotional eating often involves mindless snacking. Practicing mindful eating can help you become more aware of what and how much you're eating. Take time to savor your food, and pay attention to how it makes you feel. Eating slowly and mindfully can help you feel more satisfied and less likely to overeat. Step 5. Give yourself grace. Breaking any habit is hard, and it's okay to slip up sometimes. Be kind to yourself, and remember that progress, not perfection, is the goal. Celebrate your successes along the way, and don't beat yourself up over the occasional setback. Remember, breaking this habit takes time and patience, but with a little effort and the right mindset, you can overcome emotional eating for good. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.